Hello everyone. This is Sir Abdul Rahman here. Topic is completing the square or in the form x plus a square plus b. In this lesson, you will learn how to express quadratic expression. How to express quadratic expression in completing the square or in the form x plus a square plus b. There are some examples here. This lesson will be very helpful for O-level maths class 9, 10, and 11 at math students as well as A-level students in P1 for topics, quadratic, and functions. Now, I'm going to convert these expressions one by one. Let's take example number. Let's take the first expression, x squared plus 3x minus 2. x square plus 3x minus 2, we have to we have to express this expression in completing the square or in the form x plus a square plus b. The first step is we have to write four empty bracket by using first term and second term. So, a square plus 2ab using identity 2ab and plus b square. There are there are two terms here and there are three brackets, uh, three terms, terms first, second, and third. So the last term will be you can eliminate by subtracting an additional empty bracket. Minus two copy here. The first entry term is other term. Of, of identity a square plus 2ab plus b square so write down x here the a is x here a is x and these brackets are still unknown so how to find these how to find the unknown value compare the second term the 3x with 2x time the question mark here so 3x equal to twice of x of question mark. So the unknown will be 3x over 2x, which is unknown is 3 over 2. So write down unknown in the place of question mark. Unknown is 3 over 2. I'm going to write 3 over 2 here. 3 over 2. And 3 over 2. Now, the first three terms are, um, uh, are an identity. We can write as an identity here. So, a square, recall the identity, A square plus 2AB plus B square will be A plus B whole square. So convert these three terms into an identity. A is X here, the A, A is X here, and, the, and B is 3 over 2. So I'm going to write X plus 3 over 2 whole square and Copy these two terms, the remaining two terms minus three over two whole square minus two. By simplification, minus three over two whole square minus two, we get uh, minus three square nine over four minus two. We can Can evaluate mentally minus nine over four minus two four to the four to the eight four to the eight minus eight minus nine is minus seventeen minus seventeen over four is the answer. You can write this form or you can write answer in x plus three over two whole square plus minus seventeen over four. Both answers will be correct.
now i'm going to explain another example this is x square plus 1 over 4x minus 3 we have to express as x plus a whole square plus b form or in completing the square form the first step is to focus on focus first two terms and try to write down as an uh, as the terms of an identity a square plus 2ab plus b square okay x square plus 1 over 4x are two terms and i'm going i'm writing the three terms so we can eliminate the last term by writing minus and an empty bracket minus 3 is copy now now the first three terms from identity a square plus 2ab plus b square and the a and a is x here a is x so i'm going to write x a x here the place b is still unknown so find out the b the question so how to, we can find b by comparing the second term 1 over 4x with twice of x time question mark so 1 over 4x write down 1 over 4x or we can write x over 4 1 over 4x or we can write x over 4 by comparing 1 over 4x with twice of x time question mark x over 4 we can say 2 i's of x and the question mark here so the unknown will be x over 4 to the 8x after reducing the fraction this is 1 over 8 1 over 8 and write down 1 over 8 1 over 8 first three terms as in uh, I'm going to write the first three term as an identity a square plus 2ab plus b square by using identity this x plus 1 over 8 whole square for these three terms now simplify minus 1 over 8 whole square minus 3 so minus 1 over 8 whole square minus 3 after simplification it will be minus 1 over 64 minus 3 x plus 1 over 8 whole square so x plus 1 over 8 whole square and minus 1 over 4 minus 3 will be minus 64 now 64 3 4 the 12 3 6 the 18 1 19 19 92 minus minus 1 it will be minus 193 over 64 so x plus 1 over 8 whole square plus minus 1 over 93 over 64 you can write or you can write x plus 1 over 8 whole square minus 193 over 64 both answer will be correct now let's take the uh, third example third x is uh, you we have to express x square plus 0 0.6 x minus 1 what will you do <coughs> write down 0 0.6 as an a fraction first so we get x square plus 6 over 10 6 over 10 x 0 0.6 is 6 over 10 
and 6 over 10 is 2 3 are 6 2 5 are 10 3 over 5 so we can write 3 over 5x minus 1 next step is focus first term and the second term and write down empty bracket for identity a square plus 2ab and plus b square for there are three terms uh, there are two terms x square plus 3 over 5x and here three terms with empty bracket so write down minus empty bracket square for eliminating the last bracket minus one copy here by putting values in empty bracket the value of a is x here x and b is unknown still unknown b is unknown here so compare the second compare second term with a uh, second term t or 5x with twice of course this question mark so in the rough working column come by equating 3 over 5x with twice of x so it will be 3 over 5 3x over 5 equals to twice of x times unknown we get unknown 3x over 10x we get 3 over 10 after reducing we get 3 over 10 so by writing 3 over 10 in the place of the question mark it is 3 over 10 3 over 10 and 3 over 10 here now convert these three terms into an identity a square recall identity a square plus 2ab plus b square will be a plus b whole square so by using an identity we can write x plus 3 over 10 whole square for these three terms and simplify try to simplify this fraction and integer minus 3 over 10 whole square will be in the next step we can write minus 3 over 10 whole square will be 9 over 100 minus 1 9 over 100 minus 1 by using mental math by using my inter mental math minus 9 over 100 minus 1 will be 100 one the 100 minus 100 and 9 is minus 109 so we can write minus 109 over 100 this is the required answer we can express this answer as x plus 3 over 10 whole square and write down inside the bracket 109 over whole square with minus sign this will be also we can say answer so next example i'm going to explain the next example how to express x square plus 6 over 7 x plus 2 over 49 in the form of completing a square form or x plus a square plus b form first step is focus on the first and second term and try to write it this term as an identity a square plus 2ab plus b square and uh, focus term there are two focus term here but there are three terms so write down an additional bracket with minus sign to eliminate the extra bracket minus square plus 2 or 49 copy now, 
by putting values in empty bracket the value of this bracket is x because a square plus 2ab plus b square x here write down x here and remaining brackets are still unknown we can find the unknown by comparing second term this is also second term here so we can in the rough work i'm going to write six you know six over seven x we can say six x over seven six over seven x is six x over seven with two x times unknown i'm going to write six x over seven is equal to two x times unknown so seven to the 14 unknown will be six x over 14 x by reducing 2, 3 to 6, 2, 7 is a 14, x, x cancel out, it will be 3 over 7. So, write down 3 over 7 in the place of unknown. 3 over 7. Now, by writing x square plus 2x, 3 over 7 plus 3 over 7, the square is, uh, recall the identity, a square plus 2ab plus b square will be a plus b whole square. So, I'm going to write these three terms, these three terms, I'm going to write these three terms into the identity, the factorized form, a x plus 3 over 7 whole square now and the copy minus 3 over 7 whole square plus 2 over 49 by simplification last two terms this is minus 9 over 49 plus 2 over 49 here so Minus 9 over 49 plus 2 over 49 are like term. You can simplify mentally. Minus 9 plus 2 is minus 7. So I'm going to write minus 7 over 49. By reducing minus 7 over 49, we can write x plus 3 over 7 whole square minus 7 over 7, 7 over 49, minus 1 over 7. So the final answer is x plus 3 over 7 whole square minus 1 over 7. The final answer, or you can write this form, x plus 3 over 7 whole square plus minus 1 over 7. So, I hope you have understood how to express a quadratic expression in the form of completing the square or x plus a square plus b form. If you did not get the idea about the topic, watch this video again and again. So stay connected, like, share with your friends, subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you very much.